positive? Oh, okay. This is Soul of the Century. <laughs> Episode number 2289, recorded on the 29th of the 8th, 1990. Two used to be biased and it's recorded in stereo twice. This is John Sargent from New South Wales putting on the line prizes valued at $74,195. Tonight, we're offering a $14,000 Nubian holiday, a $20,000 pearl and diamond necklace, two magnificent Holden cars, plus a cash jackpot of $304,000. All on the world's richest quiz, Sale of the Century. And now, here's the star of the show, Tony Barber. Yes. Right up. That is I, Tony. Yes, Tony. Thank you very much there, Peter Smith. How do you do? How do you do? Good evening and welcome to the show. This is The Sale. Hello, everyone. <laughs> A new audience. Vital, attentive, wonderful. You've come. You have come at the very, 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 very most exciting time in the 10-year history of the program. This, this John Sarden, good evening, John. Good evening, Tony. This man is right on the brink of making history. If you win tonight and tomorrow night, John, over the $400,000 mark, into the Guinness Book of Records, you're the biggest ever winner in the history of quiz in the world. My goodness. But first, of course, you've got to win, don't you? That's right. What occurs to me is that you're not risking, I mean, you've, you've got, only got $74,000 worth on the line, sort of thing. Only $74,000. Only $74,000. A mere $74,000. Yeah, but you've got so much to gain and so little to lose. Let's put it that way. Well, relatively speaking. Relatively yes. speaking. Good luck, John. Thank you. And to introduce your opponents, the gorgeously attractive Elise Platt. Here she comes. Gorgeously attractive. Hello. Thank That's you. Like a sari. I guess a little bit like a sari. Drew McCarthy. Are you? Oh, Drew McCarthy. Very good. <laughs> What an exciting night. It is. Two nights coming. Well, maybe two if he gets through tonight. Yeah, yes, yes. very exciting. Well, who's he got to beat? Well, he's got to beat a person who's come all the way from Leichhardt, New South Wales. Please welcome Mark uh, Dolahenti. Hello, Mark. Our Hi. second contestant has come from Mulgrave, Victoria. Please welcome Julia Beckett. Yes. Welcome both. Mark, trade union organiser. That's right, Tony. Which one, Mark? Public sector union. It's the biggest federal public service union. The, the, all the people that work in... All the telecom people? Telecom people, tax, social security, defence, yeah. the lot. We get millions of them on the show, telecom, telecom people, don't we? people. <laughs> yes. They come in droves. must be something about telecom that gives people the opportunity to watch quiz shows. They want more money. <laughs> they want more money. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Mark, good luck in the game. Thanks, it's good Tony. to have you here. He wants to be an opera singer, too. Oh. Uh, Julia, you speak several languages fluently. No, no. It says here. Oh, your ambition is to speak several languages. <laughs> yes. Which one do you do at the moment? Um, I speak reasonable French and a little Swedish. Un petit français? Oui, un peu. Well, do you speak some Swedish? Ja, ja, tala svenska. What is it? Ja, tala svenska. Yes. And um, Ingemar Johansson to you too. <laughs> $20 each. Good luck, well, everyone. Again, you're learning Italian, aren't you? Uh, yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, Italiano, si. Let's play, girls and boys. In insurance, NCB literally stands for... John. No claim bonus. No claim bonus is correct. What word means both to incline or bend in a particular direction and meat containing Mark? Lean. Little or no flat lean. A police vehicle called the Black Mariah is also known as Mark. A paddy wagon. Paddy wagon is right. Listen carefully and tell me, uh, which screen legend is mentioned in this lyric? Prettiest girl i ever seen See her shake on the movie screen And what rhymes with that but James Dean, Jimmy Dean? See her shake on the movie screen, Jimmy Dean. Rock on by David Essex. The early Dutch explorers called Australia... Mark. Van Diemen's Land. New what? Holland. New Holland. Too soon. Starting with C... What is a Neapolitan ice cream containing f John? A gelata? Fruit and nuts. No, it could have been calata, but not gelata. <laughs> Cassata. <laughs> Gift shop time. It's you, uh, Mark. You're the only one who's done damage here. You're five ahead of Ma uh, Julia and John. 25 to spend. Here's Elise. And, uh, yes, Mark, a world-ranked collection of sunglasses sure to be a hit in any family. With 100% ultraviolet filtering lenses, the ranges, range includes the famous aviator style and wayfarers. Normally $1,015. Tonight, six. Ray-Ban by Bosch and Lom and 
Sell the century. Who's hitting the ball? Me. Right. <laughs> it's me. This is a very this is a very nice prize. Uh, Mark, do you, do you have Ray Bans? I do, Tony. I have my social life's increased enormously since I've been wearing my Ray Bans. <laughs> oh, people stop me in the shopping centre and say, "You're cool." Yeah. <laughs> They're very um, nice, Tony, but no thanks. Uh, what if I said four dollars and gave you five hundred dollars cash? <laughs> yes. That, that changes, <laughs> changes everything. <laughs> It puts a different light on things, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, I'll say. Which word meaning joined or incorporated in one is an anagram of untied? Mark. United. United we stand, divided we fall. What bird's eye is used to indicate keen eyesight? John. Hawk. Eye of a hawk or eye of an eagle would have done. In the film musical Anchors Away, Gene Kelly danced with which cartoon mouse? Mark. Uh, it's gone, Jerry. It's gone, Jerry, and I don't know if you got it in quickly enough. My man will tell me upstairs. Yes, right, yes, you did get in quickly enough, well done. So you get the money, 31. He danced with Jerry. Who am I? I was born in Britain in 1904. I contributed articles to the London Daily Express before writing my first novel called Jigsaw in 1925. I have since written biographies, autobiographies, and books on health, charm, etiquette, and cookery, but I'm better known for the hundreds of romantic novels Julia. Barbara Cartland. Barbara Cartland is right. That vision of a woman. That beautiful, beautifully preserved woman of 973. Which face would you like on the board? Charlie um, Sheen. Charlie Sheen, one of the stars in the film Men at Work. Holly Robinson. 21 Jump Street. John Bon Jovi. Karen Single, Blaze of Glory. Denise Drysdale. In Melbourne today. Adam Owens. From St Mary, South Australia, likes to play the keyboard and hopes to become a musician. Oh, right. Ken Bergen. Murphy Brown. Kevin Grease. National Line News Adelaide. Elisa Milano. Who's the boss? And Jim Whaley. Mr Credibility on Sunday morning. Julia. I have John Bon Jovi, please. Bon Jovi. Congratulations, Julia. You won a collection of latest release videos, including The Rachel Papers and Phantom of the Opera, valued at $500 from Virgin Vision. There you go. And, um... Nice prize. End of round one, everyone. We'll be returning very shortly. A big game tonight. We'll be right back. Our champion John Sargent has had the gauntlet thrown down. Mark leading by six at the stage. The city of Astrakhan is the southern... John. Soviet Union. Is in the southern part of the Soviet Union is the place where most of which luxury fish product comes from. Too early, John. Caviar. What is the common six-letter name for plants of the genus Viola? Mark. Violets. The violet. Violets is right. Um, I can't take that because we said what is the common six-letter name for plants and you said violets and that's... Hello? Pluralising, it doesn't matter even though we ask for a six letter name. Okay. Right. Okay. So that's fine. You, we are accepting. Even though we said six letter, it's, it's, you still got the... The genus is correct. Which Swedish actress won her first Academy Award for her role in Gaslight? Mark. Ingrid Bergman. Ingrid Bergman is right. Okay, pick of the board now. Who am I? I was born in Africa, 1942, a talented student. I graduated from university in 1963 and I attended the Royal Military Academy at Sandhurst in England. I rose through the ranks of my country's military and in September 69 led a military coup that deposed King Idris. I was named chairman of the Revolutionary Command Council and my country now adheres to the strict. Mark. Gaddafi. That is correct. Muammar al-Gaddafi, Gaddafi, Gaddafi. Okay, Mark, which face? Jim Whaley. Thanks, Jim Whaley's Tony. got the... Congratulations, Mark. You've won a selection of games, including Murder Mystery and Traveller's Game, valued at $144 from Paul Lamont Games. Games, but no money. I should think that John would have been pretty happy not to see some money pop up there. Indeed. With which of the arts was Sir Arthur Streeton associated? John. Painting. Painting is correct, especially landscapes. What is both an accompaniment to fish and the first name of the late Australian, John. Chips. Actor Rafferty, correct. Fast money now, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's have a speed test. Your time starts 
Now, any artistic work of masterly skill is a master what, John? A masterpiece. Correct. An old-fashioned swimming costume was a neck to... John. Neck to knee. Correct. In which continent is the country of Nigeria? John. It's in Africa. Correct. What is both a type of meat and an actor who overacts? Mark. Ham. Correct. Erskine Caldwell wrote the famous novel, Tobacco. John. An old lace? Road. What do we call inflammation of the larynx? John. Laryngitis? Correct. In which country are three rivers called Fitzroy? John. Australia. Yes, anything capable of being deducted is literally deductible. And there it is, John. John's, um, John's great forte, his forte has been the fast money. And you've managed to get ahead, John, by $4. Let's see if we can tempt you here. Bedtime becomes a pleasure time for any child with this fabulous range of bedroom furniture. There's a pipeline in a spring bed with desk and chair, wardrobe and much more, all crafted in classic ivory with brass handles. Normally, John, this would cost you $1,544, but tonight, only $9 from Joyce. In sale of the century and his uncle Hello. 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 Hi, darling. Um, John, this is very nice bedroom furniture. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? I say no, Tony. What yeah, would you say if I said there was $2,000 under the pillow? Ooh. I'd still say no. Oh. Uh, what would you say if I said there was $3,000 under the pillow? There's not, but I'll still say no. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you are. You see, there was $3,000. I was prepared to give you $3,000, but it's no, and it's no, and it's no. But there was mm. 50, five, five, 500 <laughs> Yeah, to which I was prepared to add 2500 That would have made it 3000 um, which former Australian Deputy Prime Minister celebrates his 76th birthday today? Think of Vietnam. We'll be back shortly. Then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dr. Jim Cairns, of course, who will be uh, so well remembered for leading the uh, anti-Vietnam War protest. 76, many happy returns, Jim. Mark 46, Julia 20, John 50 with a good fast money. What Australian novelist has the first names Morris Langlow? John. Uh, I don't know, Tony. It's Morris West. In which state was Neighbourhood Watch first introduced in Australia, 1984? Mark. New South Wales. Victoria. Going backwards, rhyming with fast. What word may come before word, straw, and ditch? John. Last. Last of each of those for 50. Who am I? Julia, this would be good for you. Try and catch these guys up. Who am I? I was born in England in 1846 and died in 1881. The son of an Irish barrister, I came to Australia in 1863 and began writing shortly after, contributing to the Australian Monthly Magazine, the Argus, and the Peripathetic Philosopher column. In 1868, I co-founded the Yorick Club and became owner-editor of the Colonial Monthly, in which I serialised my first novel, Long Odds. In 1870, the Australian Journal commissioned me to write a novel on convict days, the result being the serial... Mark. Marcus Clark. Marcus Clark, his natural life for the term of, yes. And you've got the pick, Mark. Oh, danger Alana, here. please. Yes. Here's a touch of glass, Mark, a silver-plated tray with engraved base and handles valued at $575 from Hickworth by Roth. A tray, but no money. Still plenty of money for the having. What multicoloured cake is named after a polished st Mark. Rainbow. Stone used in building marble cake. Starting with B, which part of a harness holds the bit in the horse's john? The bridle. Mouth. The bridle is correct. <laughs> All right, cash card time. John, your opportunity to spend $15. Big decision for you tonight, especially. $15, and if you um, get the right card, you'll get $16,000. Here's Ooh, the price. Oh, and it's a big cover-up you've been planning. It starts right here with 12 and a half metres of prestige, top-quality carpet, including soft underlay and installation. There's enough to cover about four rooms. It's valued at $2,500 from Carpet Call and Sale of the Century. Right here, for you, John, with the right card, $16,000.
Remind yourself about what happens. If you press your button, you spend the $15, you have a pick, fine. If you elect not to do it, I remove the cash card, which gives Mark a three to one opportunity of picking up the $15, etc., etc. I it's, won't, I won't play. Tonight. You won't play. We put the money away. And we'll put the cash card away. And we'll rearrange these and mark at no cost. Pick from one of the cards. Clubs, please, Tony. Ace of Clubs is the prize. Much relief from John. Carpet for you. And we'll do a score check. Mark 36, Julia 20, and John 55. Midway or practically all the way through round three. With which sport do we associate Turnbury, Troon, John? Uh, golf. Golf is right, 60. The 1918 advertising slogan, packed tight, kept right, gave its name to which brand of Wrigley's gum? Mark. PK. PK is right for 41, keeps you in touch. What is the layman's term for the condition in which one of the chambers of the heart has an abnormal opening in its walls? Mark. A blue baby. A hole in the heart, baby. Hole in the heart. What is my name? Last pick of the board here. Julia and uh, Mark, your last chance. I'm an island. My name, an island within the British Isles, ruled at various times by Norway, Scotland, Wales and Ireland. Eventually, Great Britain brought me from my local rulers and it has controlled me ever since. Although, John. Isle of Man? Yes, Isle of Man. Right. That blocks. That blocks the trouble. You've got heaps of opportunities with money here, John. Uh, hopefully Holly Robinson will be lucky for Holly me. Robinson's got the 15. He's just about put him away. Other money will leave. Kevin Kreese had the wild card. The other money was with Denise Drysdale and Charlie Sheen. And Righto. Adam Owens had the $25. After a very shaky first couple of rounds, John has cemented his position well. But uh, Mark, with your record earlier, you can still get up. And Julia, you're still in it. We'll be back with the last 60 seconds after this break. It's that simple. No winner's board, nothing. John, you win this game, you get those two cars, and then you have something to think about, don't you? I sure do. <laughs> Mark 36, Julia 20, trying to stop you. 60 seconds on the clock. Good luck, everybody. Your time starts now. What is the third letter of the word avocado? John. A. O. In what country was sculptor Henry Moore born? Julia. Britain. Yes. What three-letter tool has a type called a fret? Mark. Four. Yes. A counterfeit of copy is sometimes called a spitting what? John. Image. Correct. From what modern language do we get the word massage? Julia. French. Correct. What is the southernmost point of the Australian mainland? John. Wilson's commentary. Correct. In what year was Benito Mussolini executed? Mark. 1944. 45. In which country were the Salem witch trials held? John. In the United States. Correct. In the familiar saying, a cat has how many lives? John. Nine. Yes. Rhyming with cats, what is a device for holding a door or gate? John. It's a latch. Correct. What is the plural form of barrister at law? Mark. Barristers at law. Correct. How many wheels has a hansom cab? Mark. Two. Yes. How many A's are contained in the word haphazard? Julia. Three. Yes. In which island country is the Shanghai Shek Memorial Hall, John? It's in Taiwan. Correct. What is the capital of Sri Lanka? Julia. It's gone. Colombo. In which body part? There it is. Cards. Game set for cards. Got him. Well done, John. Nice round figures to 100. Well done. Well played. Yes, everybody's happy for you. Mark and uh, Julia. Um, that was bad luck, Mark. I mean, you really looked the winner early on. He looked like the John and Maddie's match, but you sort of faded. Never mind, Julia, thank you for being here. What have they done? He's won with uh, cash and prizes to the total of $4,734. Thank you very much for playing, Mark. Thank you. Great.
Julia, thank you for being on the show. You have prizes also for a total of $500. And yeah. it's over to Pete. Thank you, Tony. Julia and Mark will both take home the electronic sale of the Century board game from Crown and Andrews, plus our Diamond Set Gold money clip from Wendy Manzo Diamonds at the Hilton and Sale of the Century. Well done, John. Thanks, Tony. You didn't nervous early? No, I didn't say so. <laughs> it's scared early there. Let's go shopping. For you, we've got lots of stuff up here, John. Now, you've won all the prizes, and we'll start with these. Look what you've won here. Get away from city life in this brilliantly designed compact camper trailer. It features an insulated pop-top roof, an array of built-in kitchen appliances, and it will comfortably sleep up to six people. It's valued at $10,355 from Jayco Caravans. A touch of genuine French charm is waiting John on this two-week trip for four to romantic New Caledonia. With business class airfares, $5,000 spending money, and studio apartment accommodation in Numea, the trip is valued at $14,440 from UTA French Airlines, Connection Holidays, and Westpac MasterCard. A truly magnificent indulgence. This superb necklace contains two rows of fine cultured pearls with a platinum and white gold clasp that features 103 glittering fine cut diamonds. It's valued at $20,000 from Kosminski Galleries. Presenting an absolute sight and sound spectacular. Included is a flat screen stereo television. And with your great effort tonight, for your great effort tonight, I reward you with two cars. A driving double that is well above par, the Commodore Bermina V6 sedan setting new standards of motoring comfort with four-speed overdrive, automatic transmission, radio-tuned suspension and air conditioning. And the Nova SLX hatch featuring five-speed manual gearing, tinted side and rear windows and plush velour trim. The Commodore Berliner Sedan and Nova SLX Hatch are on the road at $47,409 from Holden, Australia's driving future. And two key rings to go with it from Wendy Manzo's Diamonds of the Hilton. And after all of that, with the cars and all the other prizes, there's only one place left for you to go should you choose to arrive back here at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. You're hunting for this. Tonight's sale of the century cash jackpot is $304,000. Be a nice Friday night thrill for somebody. So it's $125,000 worth you have to take away, leave, and that's yours. If you come back tomorrow night and happen to slip, fall, whatever, you do that, of course, all right? So 10 seconds to make your mind up. lost. Oh, got it, yeah. We've, we've only had one major winner for the year. You would be the all-time biggest winner ever if you... Well, I'll try, Tony. Yeah. Good on you, yeah! Oh, He's going, buddy. Big night tomorrow night, folks. Uh, ring the neighbours, tell the friends. Uh, it's on uh, for all the marbles and, uh, well, it's a $429,000 game tomorrow night. Let's make history together, right? Eh? Let's try. See you tomorrow night, everyone. Keep smiling and bye for Christmas now. City good luck to you. Now, get a good night's sleep. Have a massage. Grundy Television Production for the Nine Network. Peter Smith speaking.